Howdy guys, this is Mephilo8, your favorite wolf girl enthusiast, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Illuminated. This is Nephew 8 Hack made by Sokabala. Today it's time for Chapter 8, On the Run Again. Has been a short minute since I've last had the chance to play as a result of Easter weekend, but we're back into it now. I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, we are finally on the updated patch. Make sure to grab it for yourself in the link below if you haven't already. Uh, add some cool new stuff, some cool new features that we're going to be checking out this time. Uh, but first, the whole story thing. Jay's group receives dire news. Simmons, with his dying breaths, alerts them uh, that Luxon plans to assault both Ersk and Balleray, forcing their respective peoples to fight for Luxon or face death. Understandable. Sam's return also confirms the massive invasion of Ersk. Jay's company decides the best way forward is to travel west, through Luxon, with the goal of finding Sanctuary in Balleray. With such large numbers being committed south of them, they hope to meet less resistance on their way to the Balleray border. Very true. Uh, we would indeed hope to not find resistance. However, since we have loaded into a map, we will be finding resistance, I would have to assume. Whoa, Jay, slow down a minute. It's been almost a full day since we left that fort. You've hardly said a word. You haven't broken anything short of a run since we left camp this morning. You're starting to worry me. It's nothing, Finch. Let's just keep moving. Jay, I don't know what's come over you, but you need to get your head out of the gutter. Like it or not, you're starting to be someone that our group looks to for direction and motivation. Won't be good for the morale of our unit if... Our units. You aren't here... Or, yeah, you aren't here in a unit like you were back home. We're a group of vagrants. Stop acting like everything is a battle. That's all you get off on anyway. Jay, what's going on? This... It isn't like you. What's got you so bothered? Finch. You're... You're right. I'm sorry. I... I've just got a lot on my mind at the moment. Everything's been so different since I got a hold of this tome. I guess... I guess I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed with it all. Well, sure, things are really different. You've turned into a magic-wielding thief instead of an, un an unarmed one. Yeah, unarmed one. Uh, but that's been miles more helpful than it has been hurtful, right? Alright, alright, sorry. More Sore subject, I suppose. Help me out here. Was it something with Sam? With the fort? I mean, you were fine up until recently. What changed? I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. Hard to explain to me. I know you better than anybody. If it's giving you this much trouble, it's at least worth the time to try. Talk to me, Jay. What's really going on with you? True, what is going on? Is he, uh, torn up about having to kill people? Finch, if you must know, the truth, the truth is that yesterday got me thinking. Back to a time when we were younger and you were in the Ersk military. Do you remember much from back then? That's an awfully random question. The military. Why? You told me I could talk to you. I'm trying, so please, just humor me for a moment. If it's about the military, then yes. But it's honestly hard not to remember those days, Jay. My time there paid our bills for several years. Kept you and me both alive. It's also the reason I know how to fight. So of course, I remember it all. But what about it? I remember seeing you train with the Ersk military sometimes. And boy, you were a natural fighter. No hesitation, no doubt, no second guessing. You were just... Efficient. So it was no surprise that your ability carried itself well after the war. When you became a mercenary just to keep us afloat. In fact, I can't remember a time when you failed a job. You always came back with a grin and a coin purse, saying we had enough to get by until the next one. Looking back, though, I took what you were doing for granted. You were kind enough to spare me of the more gory details of how you got the money. How hard it could be. In fact, I never actually saw you in a life-and-death battle until... Until the mercenary work dried up, till I got involved in the heist. The first time I saw you kill someone, it was... It's no different than before. It was like it didn't even phase you. Like you'd done it dozens of times. He probably had, truth be told. I guess I'm just having a bit of an identity crisis. I'm starting to see that very same attribute myself, and it scares me. Seasoned killer, unfazed by the prospect of killing another person. I mean, I never set out to hurt anyone. But ever since I've gotten this tome, I've gotten so much blood on my hands. I'm really just conflicted about it all, and I don't know how, how you cope with it. Wow. Okay, then. That... that is a lot. You asked. I did. How do I cope with it? I, I guess it's always been down to how I frame it. I mean, what would you have done if I had not come back from a job? You would have starved. We'd likely both be dead. So in the moment, I tell myself there's a bigger purpose and move on. It's almost always worked for me. Maybe that's why this whole ordeal hasn't bothered me up to this point. Everything's had a purpose. 
all the fighting, the killing, it was all to protect you. Then we got ourselves captured and had to fight to save Rachel. Then we fought to free Ophelia. Every time I brought someone down with this tome, with my own hands, there was a justification for it. So I moved on, just like you. And sure, now we push forward to get into safer borders. We have a new objective, business as usual. What's the big deal, right? Well, yeah, what is the Yeah, what's the deal? What's the deal, Jay? Let us know. Finch, do you ever, you know, think back on the people you've killed? Killed? Yeah. Well, no, Jay, not really. Like I said, sometimes it's just kill or be killed, eat or be eaten. It does no good to read into that any further. Hmm. You know, for a while now, I've been looking at it similarly. Especially because most of the people we were fighting wanted us dead anyway. But when we brought down Simmons, something in me just snapped. Here was the man that didn't want to be out on the battlefield. All he wanted was to have his family back, for the first time. We killed a man who, much like us, was not fighting on the offensive, but on the defensive. Honestly, the whole thing shook me, made me start questioning everything. Did he have to die? Did we have to kill him and put a stake in his family? Well, Jay, that's a slippery slope to walk. What if we didn't go save Ophelia? What if you didn't go to Caston and find Lana? Or if you didn't even bring me to Sam's village in the first place? All of the people that died since then, they wouldn't be dead. Nor would Sam be in this mess. But on the flip side, I may not have recovered without the things you did. Are you saying it wasn't worth saving me? That's, that's a hard question to answer. Look, Finch, make no mistake. You're the most important person in my life. You have been ever since we met. We're family, and yet... Do we have to hurt so many families at the expense of saving ours? Jay, that's what conflict does to people. It's not like our enemies believe that they're bad and we're good. Both sides have goals. Both sides think they're fighting for those goals. And as a result, both sides think they're fighting for the right thing. Even so, ah, just doesn't feel like anything you tell me will make me feel any better about it. All the families we've ruined, all the soldiers, Simmons, even Glenn, as misguided as he may have been. Very misguided, by the way. <laughs> Extremely misguided, by the way. All their families suffer for what we did, what we continue to do. How am I supposed to continue to fight when I frame it like that? Well, I... Oh, look, it's, it's Sam, the, the man himself. I don't have a great answer for that, Jay. You just sort of get used to it. That's what happened for me. Not sure there's much more you can say, Finch. Sam? Sorry to butt in, but couldn't help but overhear you both. Jay, when all this started, I told you that fighting takes two tolls. The physical one is obvious, but the mental side of it. It's partially why I left the Luxon military to begin with. When you start to see the faces of lives you've ended, to, the, uh, to be grounded in the fact that we're all people, it's nothing short of torturous. It's harrowing. I wondered if and when it might catch up with you. Sam? You're right. Can't get these thoughts out of my head. It's haunting me. I feel like I can't even think straight. Nothing I can say to you that's going to make it better. Every life has a price. It's up to you to work out how much your goals will cost. Wow, that's a wise line to drop. TVH. And the only thing that will give you that answer is time to think on it. Hmm. Well, there seems to be a town coming up. We could use some new weapons and provisions given the state of ours. Hopefully they don't. They won't know that we're enemies of Luxon. And also, Jay, it'll be a good res uh, yeah, respite for you to get away from all this. Even if just for a little bit. Come on, let's go. Very nice. That was uh, a very deep conversation between the three of them. The three boys, the squad. The town looks to be just through this valley. Let's hurry over there. And then assuredly something goes wrong, right? Oh, die. Oh, what? An assassin. Jay, you're the only one in range. Take him out. Yeah, take him out. Don't let him get Finch. Oh. Killing Edge. Wild. Okay. Wait, help. That was a 96, Jay. That was a 96. Let's watch that again. I feel like that... That 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 was a certified Jay moment, if there's ever been one. That was a 96, Jay. You should have been hitting this one. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You you were in range. It wouldn't have killed him, to be fair, but... Jay, hit him already, exactly. <laughs> I, I, um, been stuck. Okay, you know what? Good. Oh, okay. He got the crit, good. He got the crit with the 87 zero crit rate where, where Jay couldn't hit a 96. Fair enough, I guess. Finch, are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I think so. 
Great shot, Clinton. Thanks. There are more of them. It's an ambush. They're everywhere. Jay missed in 96. I mean, I get it. He is going through emotional turmoil, but like... That was a 96. That was a 96. Finch, Sam. I... I can't. I don't think I can do this. Jay, not now. Ah. Gotta think, gotta think. Alright, fine. Everyone, I've got a plan. But I need you to stick together and follow my lead. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay, and then Jay's gonna be benched for this map. Fair enough, I suppose, or... Yeah, okay, he can't take part. Okay, okay, gotcha. Um, well, if that's gonna be the case, I look forward to this map then. Alright, so, this map is gonna be quite fun. I did have a small run-in with this map previously, I just didn't have the time to finish it the last time I recorded, was all. So, I'm just gonna restart. It's been a little bit. I didn't want to just pick up. It's been like three or four days since I got to record last. I didn't just want to pick up and not remember where I was, so... I'm gonna start the map over again. I've heard that this map is hard, uh, in a pretty significant way, and I look forward to that also in a pretty significant way. It looks very fascinating. Uh, I do recall setting up an early game strategy for this that was quickly foiled as a result of some things that happen once you hit the start button. Um, either way, let's have a quick look around the map, and uh, I'll remind myself of the units and stuff. This is Clarissa, an assassin, leader of the Mysterious Hit Squad. I uh, see his life is expendable. Very fascinating. And also, as you can see, this is the new menu screen. It looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm very happy that the new menu screen is here, because it looks amazing. She's stacked, by the way. Level 14 assassin with these skills. Uh, thief, rally speed. I look forward to that if we get one of those. Uh, despoil, that one's always a fun one. Lethality, uh, upon crit, skill percent chance to instantly kill, cannot be used on bosses, and then pass. Can she move? She cannot, but she has a wind sword. So, that's fascinating. Non-magic blade that rips air itself. Okay, so that is going to be, as it mentioned, not magic, and it's going to hit off of strength. Gotcha, okay. Very fascinating indeed. Let's have a quick scan through the enemies. Okay, Fool's Gold. Yeah, the Fool's Gold is going to be very important on this map. There are going to be some thieves that will prioritize stealing as opposed to anything else. This guy here with the stiletto ignores defenses with its one might, so it's a Luna effect um, thing here. You know what I mean? And he's got the Salus, a brooch with an otherworldly aura. While held, this brooch cures bad statuses, i.e. poison, at start of turn. Fascinating. Interesting indeed. I do know that there's something with this guy in terms of story, so we'll have to look into that. Uh, that is interesting. I look forward to playing with that. And then, is there anything else that I can uh, potentially get? Another Fool's Gold. The Vulnerary on which one? On you, gotcha. Okay. I look forward to that. I do need more vulneraries. I have neglected neglected to pick up more when we have had the opportunity. We do have an armory, though. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I can pick them up from there. Quite handy indeed. Um, let's see. I think I've already done my preparations, as it were, for the map. Uh, however, just to be perfectly sure on that, I'm going to do my preparations, and then I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, it looks like I've already done my preparation, so let's just hop back into it. Uh, I did decide that I want to give Miss Ophelia here both uses of the Vigor Ring, bump up that magic on par with her very high speed, and then give her the weak band as well. Plus one constitution isn't anything crazy. I think it actually puts her directly on par with her sister, so neither one of them can rescue each other now. But it also means one less speed lost with the Wolf Fang, which is essentially just a physical flux tone with a little bit more hit rates. Uh, and I'm down with that. I'm extremely down with that. Let's see, she's going to be quite good, of course. 60 speed, let's let's hope we can hit a couple 35 magic growths. We do have level 11, 99 experience. It may honestly be worthwhile just for me to restart the map on loop and get that level up so that I make sure I get magic. Uh, and I might do that, honestly. I might finesse that just a little bit because I'm here with the opportunity and with the power of video editing, if I take like five attempts, I can just edit it down to the one. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, that said, this map has a very fascinating start to it. I am not going to worry about this guy right away. The parry blade, good against sword-centric classes, deals effective damage with halved weapon triangle, uh, from my experience, if I recall correctly. So it's going to have weapon triangle over swords, but halved bonuses, and it's dealing effective damage. So it's 8 might times 3 for 24, and then plus 11 strength is 35 damage he'll be doing against Finch, minus Finch's... Uh, defense of 11 so he's gonna be dealing if I'm not mistaken 24 damage to Finch on a hit I will check that right out the gate 
just so that we're sure on that. Let's go ahead and actually start, because uh, I want to I want to make sure that that's true. All right, everyone, stick close to, to each other. We fought off an entire fort of much more capable fighters. There's no reason we can't do it against these cutthroats. Looks as though there are more coming behind us, so best to move into a, into the valley as soon as possible. There also seems to be some cover south of us. If we can find our way into the trees and hills, we may be able to gain an advantage. Appreciate it, Finch. Yep. Here's the fun part. Haha, <laughs> we've got them trapped, but there's no use getting in harm's way over a few dinkers. I'm gonna send the fodder up ahead while I stay here, but if they get in range of me, well, that will be the last mistake they made. Very nice. Since when are we taking jobs now? I'm a pickpocket, not a mercenary. I got into this to rob people blind. That's where the fun is, and that's where my priority is. If I'm anywhere in range, you better believe I'm gonna rob first, attack later. You better believe I have my eye on the most valuable items first. Ah, uh, I don't want to fight. As for me personally, if this goes on too long, I'm cutting out of here. No point in me dying for the sake of a bunch of crooks, right? Very true. Very true. So yeah, he's going to leave uh, pretty quickly. However, let's check this really quickly. Like I said, it should be 24 damage that he's taking. Right? I was correct. Okay, so now that we've had that reaffirmed, that's a learning lesson. We now know what we're capable of. Uh, all of that said, this guy is directly in our range from the start, so we don't want to stay in range of this guy too long. Uh, let's see, I'm going to turn down the music just a little bit on my end. Thank goodness for the headphones, so I don't have to actually adjust audio on the recording end of things. Let's see here. So yeah, this is a very fun looking map out the gate, although I have heard it's very, very difficult. Uh, and it was very difficult from the very small amount that I did get to play. I look forward to messing with that, although, shoot. Um, let's see. So with the new patch, some things were changed. One thing that I am aware of is now the old reliable has plus one to its damage, which I like a lot. I think that helps it be a really good weapon. And it's going to make me sad that I've already almost broken it. Uh, however, before we get into the map, also very nice to spend portrait there, I do want to show you uh, just very briefly Jay's buffs to his candescence. Should have plus five hit if I'm not mistaken. I don't recall if that's plus one might, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Plus five hit though. Very good. Anyway, let's uh, hop back so that we can not redo everything. Uh, not that I actually changed anything, it was just a matter of giving her this stuff. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and see if we can't get that, um, that bonus to her. Like, it doesn't matter if she misses or whatever, because she's going to get everything regardless. Uh, she's going to get the level up regardless of if she misses. Let's give it a shot, though. I, d I think I'm going to finesse this. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to finesse a uh, strength speed level up out of her. Or magic speed level up out of her. Okay, so I'm gonna keep cutting this until I get it, so we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Okay, that that's good. That's great. I usually don't do that. I usually don't take this opportunity. However, the opportunity was laid before me with one of the units that I'm most excited to use. So, here we have a, a, a fantastic, like, immaculate unit. 13 magic, 14 speed. The only thing that's low is her defense, and I can patch that up if I get more defense boosters or HP boosters in the future. Uh, although, to be fair, I might just give them to her sister regardless, because her sister's about the same as her, although with a lot less speed, apparently. A very significant amount of speed less. And they have the same magic, thanks to all of that, uh, that, that, what would you call it, favoritism? Sure. Anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, this should be a very fun little, uh, map. Let's go ahead and get right into it, although... Do I want to stay back with you? I know that you're not going to do anything in terms of killing this guy, but at least you don't die, so that's a positive. Uh, let's see. Sam, Sam, Sam. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy with the heavy bow. Um, and get that damage, because I don't want to take damage from the shaman. My Clinton has been leveling very poorly. I am made aware as a result of watching my previous videos in editing. Um, he has not leveled much speed or strength, <laughs> and I'm under the impression that many have had the similar had a similar experience. The other day in the Discord, Zokabala had mentioned sometimes <laughs> sometimes he wonders if um, if there's something bugged about Clinton because he'll either level up great or he'll level up really poorly or he'll lose like <laughs> he'll lose uh, a lot of advantage in terms of his stats. Uh, let's see here. So how do I want to tackle this? I guess this is the only option for you. Uh, there is a fool's gold, I think, on this person, so I can just do this. And then the thief, to my left, should attack 
will not attack, but take the fool's gold, and everything should work out. Simple as. Uh, yes. So, you have that, and it's gonna be stolen, so then you'll have your three attack speed back. Excellent. Good. Uh, you'll go to here. How do you do? I like this opening segment. Uh, it does definitely showcase the strengths of your units somewhat, and at the same time, pushes you to a pretty, um, not great circumstance, all things considered. I can force the thief to move right here, because it will target the fool's gold in every opportunity, as you can see here. Deceivingly worthless, but it's the favorite target of thieving pickpockets, which is the name of the class, so here's hoping that, uh, here's hoping that that's the, the way forward in the future. Are they all gonna be pickpocket? I guess so. I wonder if pickpocket is just the name of the thief class, or if there are alternatively thieves who will attack instead of strictly pickpocket. Uh, let's see, so maybe, ooh, I don't want to intern, that'd be quite less than ideal. Okay, so we're not doubling this guy, that's fine though. I can do something like this. Yes, okay. I can do that, I can attack into you, first and foremost, with- Okay, actually I want to make sure there's nothing up here. I know that this guy is generally existing with steel weapons, and that's cool and all, but I'd also rather not get hit by those. So yes, we'll have Sam go right here, attack into this guy. See, so the thing about the, the old reliable now that I'm unsure about is that if I do get a Hamurin staff, I'm going to repair this, but I don't know that I'm going to be getting one of those. So what I'm going to try to do is leave it on one use and then put it in the convoy just in case. I know that it's like, I know that a Hamurin staff would be better used on many other things, but the old reliable is reliable in the old type of way. You know, it's, it's just great. I want to continue to use it if a Hamurin staff becomes available in the future. Uh, and as such, we're really going to try, maybe not this map, I'm not going to like go out of my way, you know what I mean, to go ahead and use it to its limit, but I am going to try to place it, very good level up by the way, I'm going to try to place it right about there, because like, theoretically right, if it, if it quads, it's going to be at one use, and if not, then I get to double twice with it, and it's going to be down to one use, uh, so we'll see. I'd rather not break it if I don't have, oh! That's a new thing. That's a really new thing. Her her fire was blue. I, I I was aware of that, but I forgot about that. So, in the new patch, anima magic is colored based around the mages that use it. Uh, I don't know... I, I did read, so I am aware that there are more who also have this effect, but I don't remember the names of the other mages. Uh, theoretically, Ophelia, if she becomes a druid, question mark, she can use anima magic, and then she will start doing I forget which color but hers will have a specific color too and then we'll put Lana right here I guess I could heal with Lana it doesn't super matter it's just more experience at this point for Lana which truth and truth be told she doesn't necessarily need question mark uh, I would say that she's on the lower end of my priorities as it pertains to promotion not that I don't want to promote her but like promoting her doesn't have the same I guess I would say necessity that promoting other units do, because, uh, you know, if I could promote Finch, or if I could promote Cordelia, or Sam, especially Sam, I think Sam would be my first choice for promotion, given the option right now, um, but, like, if I could promote these guys, I'm going to promote a combat unit prior to a healer, as good as she is, for sure, so I'm not too caught up on it. Also, I'm glad that Sam took damage, because now he's in range of his Fiery Blood, uh, which should more than, more than be good. Let's see here. Uh, looks like a few of us are already cutting their escape paths. I think I'll go ahead and do the same up here. Right, okay, so. Can't escape up top, not that, not that I was going to anyway. I'll even let some of our weaklings get first stab at them. Unless, of course, they come within range of me. True. Okay, so let's not move within her range either, I would have to assume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These guys are really strong, by the way. I didn't check their stats. Didn't show their stats anyway. But, uh, yeah, Broad Axe and Axe Fair and Silver Axe and all this stuff. Gonna make these guys really strong. Let's see, I think the Axe Fair actually makes this guy... Is it one point... One point weaker. That's crazy. So, all things considered, that would be very rough to walk into the range of. I'm gonna have to use uh, Finch's turn right here to kill this guy, because I'm not letting a Steel Bow roll up on me like that. Actually, with Finch's help, I could use Cordelia for this purpose. So I think I'll probably end up doing that instead. Since we have Finch here, though, we can do this with Ophelia. She's doubling this guy. Very, very good. That's probably as a result of that speed level up, truth be told. Uh, possibly even a speed level up in the prior chapter. I can't quite recall if she got one. 
Uh, but it looks like her magic, her like uh, flux tome stuff, as she does, she goes whoosh. Uh, it looks like it was colored differently. That just may be an effect of the color palette, though. I don't perfectly know. This turn is going quite well, actually. My units are very suited to the task, all things considered. Uh, let's see, if I put Finch here, if he can double this guy. Not quite able to. I'm probably just going to use Sam for this one. This would be a good opportunity. Um, I was expecting to have to use the old Reliable. I still might. As you can see, that plus one damage is coming into effect. I guess it wouldn't have, but it is now. Huh, okay. So, yeah, I don't want Sam to get hit and then also get shot. Because that would result in him not being there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be your max movement. So I guess I will have to use the old reliable here. Unless I can get away with uh, shooting this guy with a longbow first. Or uh, whatever it may be called. Heavy bow. Which I, truth be told, may be able to get away with. And then, and then if I miss, it's not a big deal. However, I can also attack from within Finch's range. I can, yeah, I can do that. So let's try. And then if we miss, it's no big. I'm also going to have to trade over. Okay, that's fine. I'll just use the old reliable then. I didn't want to have to, but now that we're here, I might as well. Uh, you're going to continue to steal, so I would prefer to kill this unit, if at all possible. However, I'm also not going to get too caught up on it, because I have a uh, finch with the supply, and a fool's gold in the supply. While I would like to hold on to a fool's gold into the end of the next map, so that I can use those in the future... I'm not going to get myself beat up over a pool's gold. Uh, and not not that a thief would necessarily hurt me, but they're going to prior prioritize stealing, and that's going to be the end of my elixirs and things of this nature. So I guess what we'll do is we'll put Lana right here, take the fool's gold, uh, and then go ahead and heal Finch for, I guess, this one HP. And that'll be just fine. Um... Let's see, is there any way that I can do this and survive and all this stuff? She actually kills. Let's get it then. Stellar Pike, very good. That'll allow me to keep that Fool's Gold then. I couldn't steal it back because Lana doesn't have the speed to steal from thieves, but she, uh... Miss Danielle with the exact damage over here, thanks to Finch, actually. Finch is by far my most valuable unit for this reason. Uh, let's see, so... I'll put Finch right here then. I guess it doesn't super matter where he goes, because uh, I don't want to attack from two range, and that's really about the extent of it, just so, so that I don't take the damage. So we'll go right here, kill this guy. Very nice. I, uh, I'm i very happy that I went to the lengths of giving her that, that extra level up, because now I'm in a much more advanta advantageous state than I was in my previous attempt with all of this. Uh, I don't think I have that footage anymore, so I'm not going to be able to cut that in, but I was not necessarily in the best place, necessarily. Because, well, I said that twice, but either way. I wasn't in the best place because I had things of this nature, like the pirate running in from the back, these guys and whatnot, attacking me, obviously. And I wasn't... I wasn't able to kill the thieves, if I recall, very quickly, uh, because of the fool's gold stuff. Huh, not bad. They got out of a pretty bad jam there. They will tire. Just have no idea of how many of us they'll have to bring down. Boys, keep it coming. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is why I remember not being in the best place because uh, the reinforcements are very very strong. Parry blade. What do you have? Toxic knife. Two range on that one and a killing edge. Cannot allow the killing edge to survive. That much is a certainty. Um, let's see. So in terms of this, you have a toxic sword. I could put Danielle right here. Uh, can you kill this unit again? You cannot. Okay, that's fine. Even if Finch was in range, that wouldn't be a possibility. If Finch can kill somebody, however, then I will allow him to do so. Hmm. I'm sure Ophelia... Ooh, she actually can't? Wow. A very fast, very, very fast pirate. Was that capture? Interesting. I hope we get a pirate of our own if that's the case. Because that's really cool. Outdoorsman. Plus 10 hit and avoid when fighting outdoors. Is that just a pirate skill, or is it... Hmm... I don't know, that's just a pirate skill that implies some things to me, so let's hope that we don't get captured, question mark? After defeating it, okay, so you do have to be killed in order to lose. 
your unit to a capture. And I would have to assume they're not going to capture as enemies. So that's cool. Very fascinating. This pirate is strong. Um, we're not able to double with any of our units. I guess if anybody would be able to, it would be Hirsch. This guy's losing... Okay, no, it's not. It's not the standard Steel Axe. He would be losing 4 speed and thusly would still not be getting doubled. Kinda crazy. Um, let's see. Is there a way that I can wall this off properly then? There should be a way to wall this off, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, this guy has 8 speed, so she would be able to double him. The Wolf Fang, even. Um. Okay, well, let's see. What are my priorities right now? I don't want to be attacked by the Toxic Sword, toxic sword but it's not a big deal if I do. Same with the Toxic Knife. Uh, so if Danielle could get up here, that'd be fine. Does any do any of my units have reposition? I think it's literally her. So no, I can't can't do that. I could do swap with Sam if it really came to it, but I think I'm gonna have to kill a units. That's really good. How much is Sam's speed, by the way? Eleven. What do you what do you got? That's okay. It's weighing you down by one. Very good. So honestly, since that's so perfectly lined up, let's just go ahead and do this. Like, this is the exact circumstance where everything works out perfectly. Then I just use Lana's turn to heal up Sam. And that's perfectly fine and good. Strength, speed. That's what you like to see. That's what you like to see indeed. Got that fool's gold. Very good. I'll put that in the convoy for now. Not a big deal. Obviously, these guys will steal if, I, if it comes to it, so... I don't have to kill the Killing Edge this turn, but I, I really do want to. Uh, I also don't want to stand in your range because you're going to do things of this, uh... Hmm, actually, can I... I can bait all of these guys with Danielle. And if I use the Stellar Pike after shooting with Clinton, then everything works out pretty excellently, honestly. So go ahead and do that. It's pretty much the necessary course of action. Then if I shoot with Clinton, I kind of do have to hit, but it's not a big deal if I don't, I suppose. Hmm. Let's see, is there any way I can boost my damage by one point? Because I, obviously I can get... I can get Finch in range. I don't think you guys have Rally Strength, you just have Rally Magic, which is cool, but not what I need, necessarily. Um... I guess I'll have to do that then, that's fine. I wonder if Clinton can can help me in killing this guy, because while I don't have to kill him, it would be nice to not have to deal with a bow user. Uh, I also have to keep in mind this guy. Maybe I should just Fool's Gold it, because I don't really see an upside to leaving these other units alive as much as I see an upside in leaving the Thief alive. Hmm. Uh, let's see, so standing in that forest is fine, presumably, if it's Finch. Then I can attack from here with you if I really want to, but I don't know that I really want to is kind of the thing. Let's see, so you have Steel Sword. Okay, I'm just going to use Clinton's turn attacking this guy, I think. Probably not the best course of action, but I'm going to go for it. Good, okay. Also, I'm happy to see that the pirate animation is updated to that one, because that's probably my favorite pirate animation of them all. You know what? I'm, I'm happy with this. He has more res than defense. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how, about, how, how to feel about that at all, actually. It's not like it's a drastic difference in growth, but I feel like he's leveled res too much, almost. But you know what? Not complaining. As long as he's got good defenses, I'm okay with this. So from here, I could use Danielle to attack this guy with the Axe Reaver, of course, or I could use Finch. I could also use both of my mages to attack into this guy, or I could use a combination of these two. However, I don't want to leave somebody standing right here because they'll have their inventory stolen. Uh, let's see, who has... does anybody have a Fool's Gold? You do. So you're going to be going for that. I'll place you right here. Unless you want to go to the fort, which you can't reach. Good. Very good. Um, there doesn't feel like a correct choice here. Not in a bad way, of course. I'll go ahead and try this with Finch, maybe. 
because I, I think I do want to leave Danielle in range of the Pegasus Knight and hopefully bait it to that exact spot. Whether it takes the force is of no concern because it's a Pegasus Knight and Pegasus Knights do not receive terrain bonuses, no flyers do. So, at this point, I could put... Dang, okay, you reached that tile. It's going to say I could put Finch and Cordelia both right there and there, respectively. The two forests. Because I think I can just do this with Ophelia with uh, no concern. Doesn't... Don't you double this unit? I could honestly do that. I could end up with a bunch of dead enemies here. Uh, but I would lose my Vulnerary. Let's see, unless I take the damage and then trade the Vulnerary off with the units that can now move. Which would be acceptable. Alright, I think that should be... Ooh, actually that's not fine. Interesting. Let's see here, maybe it's fine? It should be, it should actually be fine. Actually, this is great, all things considered. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm glad that I noticed that, because I was about to attack this pirate with Finch, but if I do this, everything will work out excellently, actually. I mean, unless she's taking 15 damage from that guy somehow, which, if she's not taking... If she's only taking 11 damage from a, from a big muscular dude with a bow, surely the thief isn't dealing 15 entire points of damage. No, it doesn't even have that capability. Uh, let's see, if she gets attacked by everything, though, 14 damage... Uh, let's see, so that'll be seven, seven, and then four, and then she'll be poisoned. Maybe it's not great. Maybe it's not great after all, because I was going to say she could stand right here, or he could stand right here, and, uh, oh, I have shove. Shove would actually be great in this circumstance. She will get hit by those two things, and, uh, with Finch in range, it will be a little bit more damage. Oh boy, gotta love the seasonal allergies. But anyway, the uh, the whole circumstance with this would be... So Finch is going to reduce her damage by 2. Whatever she takes by 2. So she essentially has 7 defense. So this guy's gonna deal 7, this guy's gonna deal... 4? Four? 4. Yes, okay. 7 and 4 would be 11. And then I kind of have to just assume that poison damage is... Three still. I have no experience with poison as it is right now. So, I kind of just have to hope. However, this person may attack Danielle or Ophelia. Or, I mean, or Finch. Because he'll be able to reach both, and thusly it'll be fine. So I'll stand here with you, equip the steel sword, and then shove you back a tile. At which point I'll use you to kill this guy, and everything should just work out. Assuming you hit, of course. You do have to. Good. You can trust an 87, you just can't trust it if it's J, and that's the only issue. Please get speed, by the way. Please get speed. Okay. You know what? If you're only going to get one point, let it be magic. Now. I somewhat have to hope that everything just works out now. Because Ophelia is in a circumstance where she can die if poison has been bumped up to 5 points. Which I have seen often done, and I'm not discounting the possibility of. So. Wait. She took even less damage than I thought she was going to. So, she should be fine then? Because if she's taking that same amount of damage from the thief, it would also be an additional 2 points less. So even if it's 5 damage... That's not good. That's not good at all. I was under the impression that Fool's Gold was the favored thing there. Can you not steal from you? Is that the... You know what? That's fine. I can steal it back. Gimme. Gimme. Everything makes sense, but I'm not happy about it. Also, I want to go back and check how much damage the poison dealt. Let's see. Is it? Was it just three? Okay, it was just three. So I'm going to retain the assumption that it's it's one to three damage, unless proven otherwise. Uh, okay. So. Now that everything's back in order. We're in a bad spot, but 
we can deal with things now. <laughs> uh, and we keep a Fool's Gold, if that's to be the case. We can also trade the Fool's Gold to somebody else, so that we don't lose the Fortuna again. <laughs> uh, as would be most ideal. So, this is fine. This is fine. Everything is okay. Everything's kind of just at the cusp of being good. So, if I remain out of... Okay, if I just kill this guy, then everything remains okay. I could even equip the rapier so that this guy dies on enemy phase. However, at that point, I'm not too caught up on it, and I'll just let the seal sword do the talking for me. And that'll work out pretty well, I'd have to imagine. Like, he'll be hurt, but... Well, this guy will just be hurt as opposed to dead, and that's okay. I'm cool with that. Uh, we do kind of have to get a move on. I'm not under the impression that these big bosses will move. But I'm also not perfectly sure. It is a survive map as opposed to anything else. And I do want to get a move on just for the purpose of getting the Salas from you. So, if I'm going to do that, what I should probably end up doing is put somebody right here. Uh, Vulnerary is 15, right? I don't have one anyway, but if it's 15, I can work around that. You're not going to double this guy, I'd have to imagine, no, so. Here's what I'll do. I will... Okay, here's my plan. Fool's Gold, gimme. Take the Reflex Bow for now. No, just take the Elixir for now. Canso onto Fort. You steal. You attack. Everything works out. From this point... Uh, honestly, I would be fine to just get in range of this guy. I could just do this and, and kill this guy with Finch, or with Ophelia. Given this is in range, but like, I could go here as well, so I'm not too caught up on it. I guess I'm a little bit caught up on it. The poison damage combined with the mage would probably be enough to kill her. 19 damage, minus 2 from weapon triangle for 17. So it would just be 7 damage. Appar apparently less? Uh... Right. Within range of two or more allies. Okay. Okay. So the poison damage would still kill, and I'm not perfectly willing to risk her life on that. This is a shame I had to use Lana to steal back this turn, but I mean, it'll happen. I could just do this, and that gets this guy out of my hair. And I'm good with that. Anyway, she'll just kill this guy, and everything will work out perfectly. So, with that all out of the way, <laughs> there's a lot to consider this turn, uh, as all turns should probably be. Hmm. I can get in your range, right, without getting in your range, so what I could do is place Cordelia right here. Although I want to make sure that you're not... What was the Sagittarius effect again? Okay. That's fine. So if that'll be the case, I'll do this. I almost kill. I would kill if I was in range of Finch, actually. I should have waited on that then, because he was right here, right in the opportune place for me to do that. Uh, you don't die, that's okay. She does have plus one damage now. Let's see, does Sam just kill this guy then? Yes, that's really good then. Maybe I'll just do that. I think I'll just try that. Good, very good. Good job, Sam. Thanks for your decently good hit rate against that guy. Okay, and then everything should just be in order, right? I think everything will work out. Uh, there's the chance that you run away. As much as I want the Salus, if he runs away, I'm not going to restart the map for it. I think it's really good. It's probably going to come in handy later, especially considering that I would have to imagine Berserk is going to come into effect at a certain point. Um, whether through the usage of weapons or supports, or, uh, I mean, staves, that is. So I will try to get on that, but if I'm not able to by next turn, I'm not too caught up on it. I, I, I just have a strong feeling that next turn is going to be the one where he leaves. Uh, like the next enemy phase, as opposed to this one. That's just my gut feeling, though, and I don't perfectly know. Let's see, so if I move to right here, then I block the thief. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, you have to be left open. And as such, Danielle has to do this, which is fine. The meta play is to get her poisoned and let her take damage down to the threshold, but I'm not going to be doing that. Let's see. I know that Cordelia will be fine if I do this, so as such, I'm not sure why I'm hesitant in this way. 
I guess I shouldn't be hesitant in, in this way. But I'll stand right here. I mean, I could just leave her in range and she would kill this guy anyway. So I think I might do that. It's fine. If she takes damage, I have a healer. It's fine. It's perfectly okay. Also, you move. I was somehow not under the impression of that occurring, but that's fine. That's perfectly okay. I really like the, the effect on this magic. I've never seen that done before. I was under the impression that magic had to be done through the use, like done differently through the use of different spells, as opposed to how it's actually been working, so that's cool. All right, everything kind of went to plan there. Oh, he actually doubles. We'll take it. Take it indeed. Does that mean that he can reach that other guy with the longbow then? Let's see, one, two, three. I think he's just out of range. Ah, this is going better than I could have imagined. Boys, block their escape. First one to bring me ahead gets a month in advance. Very cool. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. There's so many of them. What kind of assassin group comes with this many numbers? Finch, we have a problem. Outside of Jay taking a vow of pac pacifism, what now? Outside of the seemingly endless number of assassins. Have you looked over that ridge to our east recently? Smoke. Oh no, that can only mean... It's outlaws. They're slowing us down too much. We were able to get away from the Luxon mil militia earlier, but not by much. They could be on top of us within an hour from the looks of it. We can't take on assassins and Luxon. Hmm. Alright. I don't think we have much other choice than to make a run for it. We need to clear a path forward and just outrun the rest. The numbers ahead of us are looking lighter anyway. This has to be our best bet at the moment. Okay. I'll let everyone know the plan. Let's make a break for it westward. Westward. Any, any chance of you pulling those beams of light out of your pockets? Finch, I'm sorry. I just can't. And keep up. If you won't fight, we can't afford for you to hold us back. True. Can't be holding us back, buddy. Okay, two damage that time. Yes, so it is one to three damage. Gotcha. Lead Javelin. Effective against magic users. Fascinating. Topaz Lance. Plus three attack versus the same weapon class. Okay. So, against lances. Right? Unless light cav. I don't know. Probably against lances. I would have to imagine that the weapon triangle will not account for the literal class of the unit using it at any time. That would be quite the, uh, quite the feat, honestly. Okay, so this should work out. Topaz sword, plus three attack, okay. Well, this actually gives me the chance to experience this firsthand. So it's 11 damage, meaning it would be plus three from what he's actually dealing. Which is right, because he would be taking eight damage. Cool. I'm down with this. Uh, let's see, I, wanna, I do want to look at these guys. They are... They're stronger, that's for sure. They're stronger than the ones um, ahead of us, but that's okay. Danielle, can you... Cannot double this guy, although an Axe Reaver, that's quite good. For my particular purposes. Um, let's see. Can't reach this guy till next turn anyway. I think I will make the rushdown effort. Can you double? Cannot double. Rip. Uh, can you kill... Okay, hold on. I need to consider what was giving her that one extra point of damage. My foe is not at full HP, so no, it wasn't that. What is it? What was it that was giving her that one point of damage previously? So I know that Finch is giving her plus two, and that's cool and all, but it's not what I'm after. Parry Blade. Good against sword-centric classes. Fascinating. Ah, uh, yeah, this is straight up a difficult map. I'm cool with it, though. Let's see, so yeah, we can kill you, for sure. I could Fool's Gold another one of these if I steal the Fool's Gold back. Which is very possible. If I trade the Vulnerary... If I trade the Fortuna off, that's fine, I, and then I can Vulnerary up with you. At which point I Fool's Gold, steal, and then I trade the Fool's Gold and reposition her forward. Everything should just work out at that point. Sam theoretically kills this guy. I'll just risk it and see what happens. If not, then I have literally her to do that. Uh, you don't kill Sam because it's 14 damage. 14 minus 3, that's fine. Then you get the kill. Bop. And then I'll have Finch stand on the fort and kill you. If I lose the, the thingy, the, the treasure that I'm after, that's fine because everything is kind of just working out for me. Yeah, like I said, in an effort to get you forward, I'm going to trade the Fool's Gold over and reposition you. 
and then theoretically I shoot you and take you down into range so that everything is fine next turn. The alternative is of course just killing or just shooting you, but I think what I need to do is kind of ensure my safety somewhat and have him as far forward as I can. That said, um, if I stand here and shoot with the heavy bow, that doesn't quite work, does it? Because you'll steal my vulnerary. And you're going to attack Danielle. You will double her, unless she has her speed bonus. So if you attack first, which I'm under the impression that you will, it'll be 14 damage, minus her 5 res for 9, 9 times 2, and then you steal. So don't get crit, Danielle is essentially the wisdom that I have to offer her. Hmm. Let's see. I guess this is just going to be how it is. It is still a survive map. I'm not under the impression that I have to get to this village, but I'm still going to try to. Hmm. How far do you move? Steel Axe. I definitely need to just have Clinton forward as much as I can have him forward. As much as I would like to do this, I don't want to lose my vulnerary. You know what, I guess it doesn't actually matter. I guess it doesn't actually matter at all. Uh, that said, if I could just kill this person, it'd be better. It doesn't matter at all to lose the vulnerary, because I have enough gold that I can buy a new one if it's really down to it that bad. Uh, let's see. Even so, you're going to attack Lana. because you'll move through the forest. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you'll attack Danielle either way, actually, so it doesn't even matter. I guess it matters a little bit, like I might as well move here and shoot once, and that way I can kill you on the next phase, assuming that it hits. So, here's hoping everything works out. Uh, okay. Here's hoping in a pretty significant way that everything works out. I'm just gonna... Okay, you actually attack Sam? Good. I uh, hope you don't double. Okay, well, Sam hits anyway. He wouldn't have doubled Sam. There's no way. There's no possible way. And you're gone. Okay. Had enough of this. Next chance I get, I'm out of here. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool, cool.